Hi and welcome to the stream, it's Machine Dana, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going through Streamlabs Online and I'm going to be going into a module. The module particularly that I'm going to be going into is the Slots Minigame module. Now if you don't know, Streamlabs have an online service where you're able to use the CloudBot service to install and configure uh, modules. Those modules allow your viewers to have more interaction on your channel and you as the streamer have more interaction on the channel. So the modules are a really, really good way of just improving the overall engagement with uh, with you as a streamer and all the viewers uh, and among themselves as well, depending on which particular module. So in this in this video, I'm going to go into how to set up the slots mini game module, how to mod CloudBot, how to set up CloudBot uh, to start with, and then also uh, yeah, just how to make the most of the uh, the modules themselves and particularly the slots mini game. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps other people to be able to find find the content that you've searched for, uh, or double upon. <laughs> uh, and also, if you want to see more streaming tips and hints and guidance and tutorials, feel free to give me a subscribe. Otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, we're on the main screen here. First of all, what you're gonna to need to do is to go onto streamlabs.com. Streamlabs.com is the online service from Streamlabs that allows you to integrate different widgets, commands, timers, uh, chat bots all sorts of different things uh, that improve your stream and engagement on your stream you can use Streamlabs online with any other uh, software streaming platform um, in terms of the actual streaming platform itself for example twitch youtube gaming facebook gaming that sort of thing but you can also use it with different types of software so streaming software itself for instance obs uh, Streamlabs obs stream elements and so on so uh, so the streamlabs.com uh, function, it's, it's got a load of different things that you can use. Uh, we're particularly interested in the modules function and on the modules, particularly in the slots minigame function here, which I'll go into a little bit detail in just a second. So first you need to click on CloudBot on the left hand side. And then in this header here, you've got modules. Ensure that the CloudBot is toggled on. And once you've done that, click on modules and then we can get straight into the slots minigame preferences. To turn that on, you simply toggle this particular toggle here. And then to configure it, we go into the preferences just there. Now what you also need to do is go into your own channel chat on your Twitch. Uh, go into your chat and type forward slash mod streamlabs in your chat. That will mod Streamlabs itself, which will allow it to send responses to your chat from the cloud, it's all automatic from there. So click on modules, we go on slots minigame preferences. This is quite a, a straightforward one, the slots minigame one. Um, it's, it's a nice one, it allows the users of your channel to use their loyalty points, which I'll go into briefly in a second, um, to use those to essentially gamble an amount on like a slot machine type function and they can either lose that money or they can they can win the money of course it's not actually money it's just the loyalty points and the loyalty points are gained in various other ways so this particular not not all of these modules that you see here do interact with the loyalty system most of them do but not all of them the slots mini game itself definitely does interact with the loyalty store and we'll go into the settings in just a second uh, I do have another video about setting up the loyalty store, so if you're interested in that video, uh, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but, but very, very briefly, you're able to see what users, uh, what points that your users have, how many hours they've watched, and of course, uh, set the settings for your uh, for your loyalty store as well, including uh, how you pay out, uh, how many intervals you pay out. So every five minutes, I give one point to users and if they're actively chatting i give them another two points to my users and then they get points for like following and subscribing and that sort of thing so and also just ensuring it's enabled so that's the loyalty store once that is enabled anything that relies on loyalty points will work but you just have to bear in mind that it won't work straight away because the loyalty has to accumulate but what you can do is you can click into a user I can edit that user and give him extra points just by uh, amending this amount here as the streamer. You do need to have the loyalty points in place. So we get into the slots minigame preferences, really, really straightforward. First of all, you can specify an amount of loyalty points as a minimum that you want to allow your users to kind of risk as part of the, uh, the slot machine. 
So it, all this does is it just helps to reduce spam on your channel. You don't want people coming to your channel and only using the slots mini game or any other modules. You want it to be a balance between using modules, interacting with each other, and also with you and the games that you're playing. So just having a minimum amount just means that somebody can't gamble one, then one, then one, then one again, and it turns into pretty spammy. I've set mine to 25. It doesn't really matter what you set. It's, it's personal preference, really. You can also set a maximum amount. Um, I think there is a, an, absolute, an actual maximum level. I'm just going to set this. Yeah, there you go. The maximum amount actually is 100,000 um, as per the uh, Streamlabs restrictions. I can then save those settings and they will literally save. You'll get a confirmation in the top right corner here. So that's the general settings of the loyalty point system for the uh, slots minigame module. Then we get into the actual combos themselves. So what these are, these are the different emotes that will reveal after you have done the command in chat or your users have done the command in chat as part of the slot. And it literally works like a slot machine. I think there's three emotes that will appear like ding, 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 like that. It doesn't make the sound effects. It's just literally a chat that appears, but you get the, you get the picture. And you can, you can choose which emotes you want to be as part of that. So you can remove them and only have a small foot, a small number. You know, like lucky sevens or something like that. Or you can have a really big number uh, or somewhere in between. Uh, some of them, by standard, I think there's like eight or nine of them that are already there. I've just added a few of my extra custom emotes in here. Simply by clicking on add emote and pasting in the emote uh, name in there like that. Uh, but you can also bin the ones that you've already got as well. So just to demonstrate that, I can remove one and then add it again just like that. Then you've got emotes. So that, that's the emotes themselves. You're, you're setting what emotes are available for the slot machine in that area. And then you've got the combos themselves. So the combos themselves work off the information you used in your emotes. So you can't, you can't add combos for emotes that do not exist in this list here. The tooltip here is this is where you set up your emote combos and the reward multipliers. So the combinations of the slot machine and then also what multiplier the user will get from that. Now you can add brand new combos and I'll go through that in a second. But just to illustrate, I've used my uh, my one of my tier one emotes uh, for three of the emotes coming in a row to have a 30 times multiplier on my slot machine uh, on my channel. Which means if someone's lucky enough to get those three emotes on my channel, it will multiply what they staked by 30, which is a huge amount really. So, but I can edit this. I can say, okay, actually, no, I want it to be 25 and save. And, or and I can change the third emote to a different emote if I want to uh, and, and do stuff like that as well. So uh, there's a PogChamps one. There's different uh, tier emotes that I've got as well. Uh, so I've got one that's uh, the same emote there, the same emote, but then with a cheers icon next to it, which I'll demonstrate in a second with a 10. So the reward multiplier there is a little bit lower, but it's still quite a high multiplier. And then you can have some here that G-baited. I, I think the G-baited one's quite a funny one to set as a zero multiplier. So you, you lose your money, <laughs> which might make th people think that they've won when actually they just lose. Yacht Kappa, a load of ones that are here, the Mercy Wings by standard. That gives you an idea of what the actual slots look like in terms of configuring them. You can bin off any that you don't want and you can edit the ones and you can also add new ones by clicking add combo and then selecting which emotes in which order you would like them to have uh, and then the multiplier there as well. Once you've done that and you've enabled the slots mini game with this toggle here, you're all set. Uh, you do need to have the loyalty system, as I mentioned earlier. You need to have CloudBot and have it modded, but you're literally all set at that point. Now, the next thing to note is how do we then actually enable users to, to do uh, the command in chat? So it's really, really straightforward. The users will just type exclamation point slots and then the space and then the number of points that they wish to risk. Now, the user has to have enough of the loyalty points to be able to gamble it otherwise it simply won't work um, i'm not sure if they actually get like a like a confirmation message that they they haven't got enough points or maybe it just won't work at all the different the different modules tend to work in different ways sometimes they will give a confirmation and sometimes they won't it's a bit inconsistent uh, but that's a Streamlabs issue really final thing i'm just going to do here is in the command section you can look at your default commands in the commands toggle here we can go scroll down to the area that says the slots mini game, and we can change what that default command is. Now this default command is set to exclamation point slots, which allows viewers to gamble points on the slot machine with the settings that you've enabled. But I can edit that. First of all, I can edit the permissions here and say, actually I only want subs, mods, and, and the streamer to be able to do that. 
maybe you don't want the regulars or whatever so you can just you can choose basically everyone to have it uh, you can then have it so that uh, the replies are in chat so everyone can see the response or it whispers it to the person um, but you can also then customize the win response message and the lose response message so i can go okay at and that's a variable which pulls in the username of the user you got x amount of emotes so that will then give the emote combination uh, and won an amount and that's the amount that they won which is the multiplier uh, and then it will pull in the loyalty points name that you can set to set the loyalty points name it's here in the loyalty points section settings and it's literally just this name here don't ask why mine is called that it's just a stupid thing i have on my channel so so you can customize the default command for the slots in that way the final thing here you can actually customize the command itself so i might want to go you might want to call it like slots roll or something like that but i would recommend keeping it simple most people on stream labs and most people that stream on twitch know that the command is slots um but you can also go onto the advanced section and add an alias for it to have multiple words so i've put slot i put an alias called slot here in, in case somebody leaves off the s from their command you can have a global you can set the global cooldown so this is um for slots to be used for everyone or you can have a user cooldown and this is a value in seconds so i've set my global cooldown to nothing it means that different users can do it at the same time but it means that the same user here cannot do the slots machine cannot enable that command for a 60 second period so they're just uh, all the different settings. And we're now in a position where we can actually test this now. So uh, assuming I've got enough loyalty points, I'm just going to search for myself, Machine Dana. There we go. I have 201 points on my channel. I might just give myself some more points just to test it. Let's say 501 instead. So I know I've now got enough points because the minimum is 25 uh, loyalty points to use on the Spots mini game. So there you go. Um, what we now need to do is go into the chat. This is my Twitch stream here. You can do it on Facebook Gaming. You can do it on YouTube Gaming as well. As a user, as a viewer, I would simply type exclamation point slots in the corner with a space and then an amount. So let's try 50. You got Kappa, G baited and whatever that is and lost my 50 girth clout which is the name of my loyalty point system so that works now just very quickly to demonstrate the cooldown i'm going to go again slots uh slots 100 and then enter it's not going to let me do it because there's a, a 60 second cooldown so there you have it. Hopefully I've given you some nice ideas on how you can integrate the slots mini game module or any modules and loyalty points system on your stream. And you don't even have to be a Streamlabs uh, software, a Streamlabs OBS software user to do that. You just need to use the streamlabs.com. If you do consider upgrading your Streamlabs to Streamlabs Prime, I will drop my affiliate link below. That will give you some money off. I think you get 10 or $20 off the Streamlabs Prime upgrade. So feel free to use that if you want to. If you've enjoyed this video, again, feel free to like the video. Feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, happy streaming, and I hope you enjoy the Slots minigame. Take care.